Qinghai Tibet Plateau, with its unique geographical environment, has nurtured a rich Tibetan culture. Tibetan incense, always as a dedication to the Buddha and gods in religious and spiritual activities, soothing the nerves and settling the soul, has also been widely used in the medicine, Buddhism practice, as well as the daily life of Tibetan people. In the early morning, light a stick of Tibetan incense, the shrouded smoke is not only an offering to the Buddha, but also helps in nourishing the mind, cleansing the body and soul with sterilization effects. Tsering Pingzuo is the most famous incense master in the city of Lhasa. Every time before making incense, he will hold his hands together and pray. Once upon a time, Tibetan incense was only used for worship in Buddhist monasteries and available for the dignitaries. With the development of its processing, now Tibetan incense has long been into the homes of ordinary people. In accordance with the ancient practice, doors need to be closed and land cleaned to avoid contamination of bad luck. After this ritual, Dozens of valuable Tibetan herbal medicine will be chopped and mixed, crushed in a stone pit and ground into fine powder following the traditional grinding method. The spice powder is then shifted into jars and sealed for fermentation. Zering Pingzuo has its own secret recipe in formulating the spices. Choose the best fermentation initiator and strictly follow the protocols to mix various spices with specific ratios. Keep in mind always that a miss is as good as a mile, only by rigorously adhering to the rules that you produce perfect incense. This is how Suring earned his reputation as incense master. Establish a fine methodology and stick to it. Adding some spring water into the spices, stir and knead the mixture into a mellow paste with refreshing fragrance. Suring Pingzuo is providing guidance to his new apprentice, who is squeezing out smooth layers of flat strips from the paste, having them neatly placed, then packaged in batches after drying out in the air. Suring Pingzuo is pretty satisfied with the performance of the apprentice as he sees a bright future in the inheritance of making traditional Tibetan incense. The preciousness of Millennium Tibetan incense does not only lie in its original recipe with 1,000 year history, but more to that is the raise in life quality, promotion of culture inheritance, engendering a humanistic spirit of caring through the sublimation of a cold object into something full of love and passion. Such Tibetan incense will spread to the hands of believers all over the world and dedicated to gods with the most devout prayer, a prayer for peace and health, and the most sincere blessing, a blessing for success and happiness.